looking for the rebound. She's done a lot of that lately. Here's Diamond Miller. The crossover, the step through, the shot, and the make. Diamond Miller with a tough two for Minnesota. To figure out how to keep Sykes out of the paint. She's getting through that first line of defense. Stolen away by Collier. All the way in. Fee with the steal and the two. Easy. Mistimed her jump. Collier will take the rebound. And it's going to be those little things, the mistiming, just getting her legs back. Diamond Miller lines up the three-pointer. The Lynx are shooting. Stolen away by McBride. She has time to get the throw. Shut up and good. She was on the line. It's a two-point shot, but look at that. Right before halftime, McBride makes the seal and then the basket. And they'll take a look at it to make sure that there was time to make sure that it was a two and not a three, but it was wow. obviously a two and it obviously came with time on the clock. Yeah, there's time on the clock and I love the reaction from Kayla McBride. She needed that, her team needed that, and the energy and momentum it brings to the Dorka Yuha. And now Carlton Miller looking at Collier in the lane, but Miller doesn't need it because she just hit the shot. 17. Lynx can find their offense. Nina Milic in the game for Collier. Miller spins, shoots, hits. Then Milic says, I got your bag. McBride gets it to Milic. Going right back into the defense. That time she got it to go. Milic with a big basket. A minute 49 left. The Lynx are up by five. That's her strength of her game right there. Nina Milic doesn't back down in the paint to anybody and that is why she is so so strong look at this look right here she gets she reads the defense backs her way in and confidently takes that ball Hawkins has some pretty good straight up and down defense but Nina